Matplotlib is the most popular library for data visualization in Python. People use it by calling show or embedding plots in Jupyter notebooks, but there is a third way. You can embed Matplotlib directly in your native Windows, Mac or Linux application. You might ask, what's the difference? After all, calling show directly also displays a native window. That's true, but that's all you get. You can't add buttons, checkboxes, sliders or other UI elements. On the other hand, integrating Matplotlib with a UI library like WX Widgets lets you mix the charts with native controls, like this slider. You can also define interactions between the elements. Here, changing the slider's positions adjusts the frequency of the function on the chart. In this tutorial, I will show you how to do all of that, so remember to like the video if you want to support this channel, and let's begin. To make this work, you will need WX Python and Matplotlib. I recommend installing these libraries in a virtual environment. If you are unsure how to do that, check out my Introduction to WX Python tutorial. Let's start with a basic WX widgets app and a chart. The crucial thing here is this Matplotlib import. The figure canvas WXHG is a WX Python control included in the Matplotlib distribution. No need to install any additional libraries. We create an object of this class, providing our panel as the parent control. We then add it to the sizer, like any regular WX Python component. Then comes the chart setup. We prepare the data to be displayed, set up the labels and lines, and call draw. Finally, in the main part of our script, we create the window and run our app. You might notice that the text is a little blurry. We'll come back to this later. Now let's add a slider. We create the label, explaining the slider's function to the user, and the actual slider with the automatic range labels. Next, we attach the event handler, using bind, to update the chart when the slider's position changes. We also need to add our new controls to our sizer. Because we will need to update the chart every time the slider changes, we move the relevant code to the update slider method, making the frequency the method's argument. We add the clear call at the beginning to prepare the access for the updated plot and the refresh call at the end. The Mac and Windows versions work fine without it, but on Linux, we need this extra call to ensure the chart is refreshed every time we change the slider's position. Finally, the event handler. The event object carries an integer representing the slider's value, so we can use it directly and forward it to our update plot function. And with these few easy changes, we made our chart interactive. Let's add a few tweaks. If you want a zooming and panning functionality for your charts, the easiest way is to use Matplotlib's built-in navigation toolbar. All you need to do is to import the toolbar class, create the object and call realize. Then add it to your sizer to ensure correct placement when the window size changes and you are ready to go. The last thing to do is to improve the rendering of our chart because it is quite pixelated. We did that before in our WX Python tutorials. Here's the util.spy file where we set the correct DPI awareness on Windows. We include it in the main file and call the ensurehdpi function before showing the window. Now the rendering looks much better. The trick is to use the DPI argument when constructing our figure canvas. Without it, the chart will be displayed in a high resolution but with very small letters. Adding the mention argument fixes that. You might notice that the toolbar icons still have quite low resolution. Unfortunately, that's something we cannot fix easily. The Matplotlib team needs to update the icons in a future release. And that's it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching.